guys, I am continuing to read the Word of God. I am on chapter 31, and it has been so interesting, so filling, so filling. So, I will continue on. Join me if you like. That Rebecca, and Laban, her brother too, mm. and then their children, <laughs> Jacob and Rachel, Ooh, there's something else, but we must read on. It has been so interesting. Interesting. Ooh, Genesis 31. Join me, please, if you like. King James Version. And he heard the words of Laban's son, saying, Jacob had taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's had he gotten all this glory. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers, unto thy kindred, and I will be with thee. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field unto his flock, and said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not toward me as before, but the God of my father had been with me, and ye know that with all my power I have served your father, and your father had deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. And if he said thus, the ring straight shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ring straight. Thus God had taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that I lifted up mine eyes and saw in a dream, and behold, the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring straight speckled and grizzled. And the angel of God spake unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob. And I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes and see all the rams which leaped upon the cattle are ring straight speckled and grizzled. For I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. I am the God of Bethel, where thou anointest the pillar, and where thou vowedest a vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy kindred. And Rachel and Leah answered and said unto him, Is there yet any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not counted of him strangers? For he had sold us and had quite devoured also our money. For all the riches with God had taken from our father, that is ours and our children's. Now then, whatsoever God had said unto thee, do. Then Jacob rose up and said, his sons, and his wives upon camels. And he carried away all his cattle and all his goods which he had gotten. The cattle of his getting which he had gotten in Pandanaram for to go to Isaac, his father, in the land of Canaan. And Laban went to share his sheep. And Rachel had stolen the images that were her father's. And Jacob stole away unawares to Laban the Syrian in that he told him not that he fled. So he fled with all that he had and he rose up and passed over the river and set his face toward the Mount Gilead. And it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob was fled. And he took his brethren with him and pursued after him seven days' journey, and they overtook him in the Mount Gilead. And God came 
to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night and said unto him, Take heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. Then Laban overtook Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mount, and Laban with his brethren pitched in the mount of Gilead. And Laban said to Jacob, What hast thou done that thou hast stolen away unawares to me and carried away my daughters as captives taken with the sword? Wherefore didst thou flee away secretly and steal away from me and didst not tell me that I might have sent thee away with mirth and with songs, with timbret and with harp? And hast not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters. Thou hast now done foolishly in so doing. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your father spake unto me yesternight, saying, Take thou heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. And now, Though thou wouldest needs be gone, because thou sore longest after thy father's house, yet wherefore hast thou stolen my gods? And Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, for I said, For adventure thou wouldest take by force thy daughters from me, with whomsoever. Thou findest thy gods, let him not live. Before our brethren, discern thou what is thine with me, and take it to thee. For Jacob knew not that Rachel had stolen them. Hmm. And Laban went into Jacob's tent, and into Leah's tent, and into the two maid servants' tents, and he found them not. Then he then went he out of Leah's tent and entered into Rachel's tent. <laughs> so Rachel had taken the images and put them in the camel's furniture and sat upon them. And Laban searched all the tent, but found them not. Mm. And she said, on, she said to her father, Let it not displease my Lord that I cannot rise up before thee, for the custom of women is upon me. <laughs> and he searched but from that the images. <laughs> and Jacob was wrought and showed with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin that thou hast so hotly pursued after me? Whereas thou hast searched all my stuff, what hast thou found of all thy household stuff? Set it here before my brethren, and thy brethren, that they may judge betwixt us both. This twenty years have I been with thee, thy hues and thy she-goats have not cast their young, and the rams of thy flock have I not eaten. That which was torn of beast, I brought not unto thee. I bear the last of it, of my hand, didst thou require it, whether stolen by day or stolen by night? Thus I was, in the day the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep departed from mine eyes. Thus have I been twenty years in thy house. I served thee fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy cattle, and thou hast changed my wages ten times. Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had been with me, surely thou hadst sent me away now empty. 
God hath seen my affliction and the labor of my hands and rebuke ye the yesternight. Laban answered and said unto Jacob, These daughters are my daughters, and these children are my children, and these cattle are my cattle, and all that thou seest is mine. And what can I do this day unto these my daughters, or unto these children which they have borne? Now therefore, come thou, let us make a covenant, I and thou, and let it be for witness between me and thee. And Jacob took a stone and set it up for a pillar. And Jacob said unto his brethren, Gather stones. And they took stones and made a heap. And they did eat there upon the heap. And Laban called it Jagar Shahadatha. But Jacob called it. Galid. And Laban said, This heap is a witness between me and thee this day. Therefore was the name of it called Galid. And Mishpah, for he said, The Lord watched between me and thee when we are absent from one, absent one from another. If thou shalt afflict my daughters, or if thou shalt take other wives beside my daughters, no man is with us. See, God is witness betwixt me and thee. And Laban said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar, which I have cast betwixt me and thee. This heap be witness, and this pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and that thou shalt not pass over this heap and this pillar unto me for harm. The God of Abraham and the God of Nahor, the God of their father, judge betwixt us, and Jacob swear but swear by the fear of his father Isaac. And Jacob offered sacrifice upon the mount and called his brethren to eat bread. And they did eat bread and tarried all night in the mount. And early in the morning, Laban rose up and kissed his sons and his daughters and blessed them. And Laban departed and returned unto his place. Oh, <laughs> thus ends the reading, Genesis chapter 31. We must continue on, but until then, we must meditate on this word and see what God has for us in this word. Thank you for reading with me.